Hi guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about a new radial array from Hardops, which is bloody amazing. So basic method of using this array is very simple. It arrays either around the cursor or the origin point, okay? So if I'm going to go to Q and just click on radial array, it's going to and move my mouse, it's going to array around the origin point, which is in the middle of the world, right? If I'm going to control click it, it's gonna array around the cursor. So I'm gonna press D to displace it and you know, there you go. But if I'm gonna move this object somewhere here and then apply the location, right? Then the origin point is gonna be in the middle here. So if I'm going to now um, radial array this, okay, it's gonna array it around the origin point here in the middle. Now the fun starts when things gonna uh, become rotated. So for example, if I'm going to rotate this cube and you know um, have it in kind of a weird orientation, and let's say even add a chamfer in here trying to rotate stuff around this now it's going to be really complicated okay so let's go to shift v and change to nearest edge and then we can draw a cut in here according to you know this orientation and if i recall this cut and i'm trying to rotate it around this face it will not really work that well okay so if i'm going to go to mesh tools and radial array you see that's going to array it around the uh, origin point but if I'm going to click on control it's gonna array it this way which just doesn't make any bloody sense so what we need to do first we need to move the origin point to uh, of this box to this face and the way to do this is gonna be simply by setting the origin point so we're gonna go to mesh tools and set origin point and hover over this dot and drag a line over here press F to set the origin to the middle okay and then hold shift and we're gonna draw a rotation so press r and boom and so now the origin point which also has its own rotation is actually aligned to this face so now if i'm going to select this one and shift select this one and go to um, mesh tools and now you can see there are different options here so you can control click or shift control click right so if i'm gonna shift control click this right it's gonna array it properly around this uh, you know around this uh this face Another way of doing this would be to moving this origin point to this origin point, okay? So you can do this with the set origin tool. You can select this one, shift select this one, and go to mesh tools and shift click on set origin, which will move the origin point of this box of this cutter to uh, the origin point of this face. And once you do that, you can actually reset the origin point of this box, okay? So you can just simply uh, move the origin point to geometry and the origin of the box is gonna stay in this place, which means you have origin point back in the middle of this uh, of this object, but the origin point of this cube, of this cutter is actually aligned to the middle of this face. So if I press Q and, you know, just simply click on radial array, boom, you know, you got radial array around this face, okay? Now there are other things you can do with a new radial array. So for example, you can, um, let's say we're going to move this cube somewhere here, okay? And now if I'm going to press um, mesh tools and radial, uh, radial array, it's going to array this around the origin. But if I press C, right, it's going to switch it between different modes. So this one is now around the cursor and this one is, you know, around the origin, okay? So there are different modes between which you can switch. Uh, and you can just simply do it with a C key. Now, uh, X key, as usual, is gonna shift the axis, and the R key is gonna do the same thing as before, which is which means it's gonna change the angle which the array is gonna cover, okay? So it's gonna be th uh, 360, 180, 90, 45, uh, 30, I think 13, 15 or something, okay? But in addition to this one, I can hold shift and scroll your mouse to actually adjust this, kind of fine tune this angle and the amount of, you know, uh, the amount of uh, area that you want to cover with your array. So this is pretty cool as a new function as well. I have a separate video on set origin. So if you don't, you know, if you want to learn a bit more about it, just go ahead and watch it. And uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Give us a like and sub if you did. And as usual, links to hardups and box cutter are in the video description. So if you would like to purchase them, uh, that's where you find them. Thanks for watching. See you soon.